Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be unboxing this brand new Nintendo Switch Lite, as well as customizing it with a skin and a few cute accessories. It comes in this light small box and it's very easy to open. Just pull a little tab and the side panel pulls out, revealing some printed info on how to set up your device. Fold those back and now you can pull the contents out. There are two compartments in this box. This first compartment is where you'll find the actual device. As you can see, I chose the gray colored switch. I'll put it aside for a bit so we can see what we have in the next compartment. It looks like some sort of pamphlet or pamphlet, I'm not sure, but it's basically a manual or something. To be honest, I never really look at these, so please don't hate me for that. Next is the charger. I believe it's a USB-C like the original switch. It comes in this plastic bag. I'll take it out so that you can get a better look at it. It's nothing too special, just a basic charger. Now we can look at the actual device. It comes in this clear plastic bag. It isn't sealed or anything, so you can just pull the switch right out like this. To me, it feels super light in comparison to my original switch. It's also obviously smaller. I do like the color and the feel of the device, and I actually love the light colored buttons. Overall, I'm really happy with it. But if you know me, you know that I have to customize everything. So let's get into it. I'm starting with this skin from Sticky Bunny Co. I purchased it on Etsy for about $20 before shipping and fees. I chose an option called Lavender Lunar Sky. I usually would clean the device before trying to apply a skin, but since this switch is brand new, I'm going to get straight to applying the skin. I like starting with the front piece. This is one big piece, so you need two hands. I start by placing the left side. This means you want to hold the right side a little bit higher so that it won't stick down while you're placing it. It's important to line the holes up with the buttons as best as you can because unfortunately the skin is a really tight fit so there's not much room for error. As you'll see, I had to lift and replace the skin a few times before I was happy with the result. Luckily it does peel up and reattach very easily. Here I'm using a silicone tool to smooth out tiny hard to reach areas like around the buttons. Once I'm done with that, I'll start to work with the edges. I'm Using my heat gun around the edges of the skin, this heats it up and makes it adhere more smoothly. I'm only applying heat to small areas at a time and only for a few seconds. I'm also making sure not to pull or stretch the skin when it's warm. I'm doing this on all of the edges until everything is smoothly adhered. At this point, I'm pretty happy with the front and I'm ready to move on to the next piece. In my last video, I did the back piece and then the filler pieces, but this time I want to try to do the opposite and see what happens. So let's start with this tiny piece. I'm heating it up with the heat gun before I apply it to the device because I know it's going on a rounded area and I might have to manipulate it a bit if I want it to be smooth. Here I'm doing the same thing but on the opposite side. You'll see me do this with all of the small pieces.
This long piece at the bottom of the device is where I have the most trouble for some reason. I can't seem to get it to line up the way that I want it to, but I just keep trying and eventually it looks good enough for me. Now we have only one piece left, the back piece. Again, it's one big piece like the front, so you have to be very careful with the placement. I decided to line the holes in the skin up with the holes towards the bottom of the device. Once I feel like everything is lined up well, I use my heat gun on the entire back of the skin. Then I take something with a hard flat edge and use that to smooth it out. Then I slowly start heating and smoothing all of the edges out like you saw me do on the front part. I'll also be using tweezers to help me get some of the side pieces into the perfect position. You'll see that in some areas I had to pull and stretch in order to close small gaps. Alright, this is the finished product. Again, it's not perfect, but I'm very happy with it. It's super pastel and adorable, and I'm really glad that I picked the skin. Now I'm going to customize it a bit further by adding these cute paw print Joy-Con covers. I bought the pack of four for about $10 on Amazon. It originally came with a pink and a white set too, but I used those in our last video. So today I'll be using the blue and white pair. In our last video, I had a lot of trouble trying to get the Joy-Con covers on correctly. Luckily, one of you was nice enough to leave us a tip, which I'll be trying now. Basically, you flip the sides back like this so that it looks inside out and then you just place it over the Joy-Con. Okay, that didn't work, so let's try again. So it's a little harder than I thought, but it actually worked, so I just wish I would have paid attention to the actual paw print placement, but we can kind of massage it into place. Now the left side. Again, just flipping the little sides back. Okay, that looks good. This time I'm going to pay attention to the placement of the paw print though. Just place it on top of the Joy-Con and fold the sides back down.
Perfect, oh my god, that was so much easier than what I was doing in our last video. They look super cute on here and I love it. Okay, I can't live without at least a couple of cute charms, so I'm going to be using this dust plug to hang charms from. I attached a sturdy o-ring to it so that I can attach as many charms as I want. If you're interested in one of these, they're free with any case or charm order on our website, just mention it in your order notes. It's pretty easy to use, just press it into the earphone hole and attach your charms to the metal o-ring. I picked these two that I thought would look good on here. First is the simple bow and bell charm from our website. It features a lovely satin bow and an adorable tiny jingle bell. Second is the adorable cinnamon roll figure that I turned into a charm. I bought her in a gashapon machine when I was in Japan. If you guys like this charm, please let me know. I have a ton of tiny figures, so I can make some for you guys if you'd like. She's a cute sleepy girl, so I think she matches the theme on the skin very well. Now, if you want your skin to last as long as possible, I highly recommend using a protective case. This is a rhinestoned hard case from our website. We release new cases on our website every other week. If you're interested in one of your own, please visit our website, dreamycraftshop.com, and follow us on Instagram for updates on item releases. It's very easy to put on. Just place the device into the back piece and then snap the front piece in place. Now we have a completely transformed and customized Nintendo Switch Lite. It's sparkly, pastel, and absolutely dreamy. I really couldn't ask for more. Thank you for watching our video. Please remember to follow us on our social media accounts. Links will be in the description below. Also, make sure to leave a comment letting us know what you'd like to see from our channel or your thoughts about the Nintendo Switch Lite.